Hey Dramaverse, it's India back yet again. I almost forgot to do this today, so I'm so glad I actually remembered. Yay! Have you ever had that actor or that actress where you just feel so invested in their career and you know that it's mainly based on a couple of dramas that you sort of kind of liked or maybe one or two dramas that you actually really really like but the rest of the work has just kind of been so-so but more importantly you like them because they're really really hot yeah let's talk about Yamapi I feel like I've watched him kind of grow into this really cute little idol actor into this really hot idol actor. So of course when I knew that he was going to be in another drama I pretty much freaked out and I did what I usually do which is pretty much kind of like like I go into sweats and I, there's this thing that happens where I just kind of tense up call all of my closest drama friends and just be like have you or have you not heard. I mean it's literally like the most important thing in my life ever when I find out that he's going to be another drama which just says so much about my life. Yamapi is pretty much the nickname for the Japanese actor Yamashita Tomohisa. I, I can remember him pretty much being in like one of the first dramas that I ever watched. He made such an impression on me that I was just kind of like, who is this kid and how can we make sure that he has a career for the rest of his life? Yamashita Tomohisa is actually starring in the uh, manga turned live action version. Uh, it's called uh, From Five to Nine, The Monk That Fell in Love With Me and it's basically about a monk that falls in love with the girl. Pretty straightforward there. The girl, her name is Junko, uh, Sakuraba Junko, and she basically is a part-time English teacher. She has dreams, she has a dream of going to New York, and it just seems like it's just not going to happen. Things just kind of keep falling apart for her. In the romance department, she's kind of got some complicated things going on there. Complicated as in nothing's really happening in her love life. Welcome to the club, girl. Welcome to the club. You should be more than familiar with how romantic comedies work in Japanese dramas. A lot of fun, a lot of romps, um, but it really does require you to suspend a lot of logical thinking. If you loved, you know, the Haniyori Dango franchise, especially the Japanese live action version of Haniyori Dango, you can hang with this. If anything, I love it more because it's very similar to that. It gets kind of crazy, but at the same time, it has all of the most important thing. The girl who's kind of sassy and smart, and she ends up meeting the rich guy, in this case, the rich monk, which Really, I'm not really sure how that works. I assume that monks were supposed to do without a lot of things, but maybe I, I'm just confused in that way. I don't know. It, it just seems like Yamapi is the richest monk I've ever seen before in my life. I mean, he literally had a sports car at one point. On the same end, they had him literally taking a shower in a waterfall, which, you know, I always assumed that Yamapi takes showers in waterfalls anyway. I don't expect Yamapi to take showers in normal places like a normal person i just assume there's like a natural spring somewhere that he just happens to find and he's like this is where i will take my shower now this is me being one with nature this is me giving you all a gift and it is a gift now i won't give too much away because you know spoilers i understand that those are important if you want the real review you'll actually need to go on over to my blog which is obviously dramadebusy.com and you can actually find the review on the first two episodes i'll go ahead and tell you that yes i did really like this but i do have some <sighs> conflicts with some of the things that have happened so far. Some of the tactics that Takane, which is the character that Yamapi is playing, a little questionable. I absolutely adore the fact that they are basically taking Takane's character, which is pretty much the same character that Yamashita Tomohisa plays all the time. Not much emotion in his face, but he has this ability to be maybe, like, be honest, but maybe a little too honest sometimes, but you can learn to appreciate it. But he broods and, you know, he goes around just kind of being hot and saying the right things at the right moments you know that's who our monk is and that's who Yamashita Tomohisa really excels at but I love the fact that they went on and put him with um, an actress that I really really love is Ishihara Satomi which if you are not familiar with her then please stop this video just turn it off and go watch Rich Man Poor Woman and you will love her as much as I do and you will also learn to love one more guy that just happens to be in that drama that is everything but that's another video for another day let's just stay on the topic right now I'm hoping that this show will be more than just 
him trying to basically make her his bride and there's no real connection that we can actually believe but I don't think that's gonna happen there's chemistry that I see already and I think that chemistry is just gonna grow and that's important because when you only have 11 episodes you really need to be living on more than your mommy's hotness this show is basically a parade of hot guys which again is pure Japanese romantic comedy and no one's complaining certainly not me if you are watching from 5 to 9 please tell me what you think do you have a favorite Japanese actor that you kind of really really love as much as I love Yumapi do you love Yumapi as much as I do there's that in I guess slightly intelligent person in me that says oh India you really have to stop doing this I mean we cannot go around telling people that you are willing to just accept these stupid stupid premises and these summaries and where people are forced to get married together and then that's actually romantic where is your pride India? and then there's the other fangirl part of me that's just kind of like kiss each other right now I don't care if it's the second episode kiss each other and make love and have pretty babies and get married and have that little idyllic life that I so want you to have do it right now right now 